Okay, so basically this is how I want it oriented. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Long time no see. It's been like cloudy and gloomy all day and honestly great for filming. And I've been doing a million other things, trying to get out here and when you know it, when I pick up the camera, the sun comes out, which I'm not gonna complain. It's been really cold all day and now that sun's out, it feels nice. All right, so today is a project day. A small project, not a not a crazy project. We have made it around the property with the cows. Currently back to where we started. It turns out in 50 days we can go around the whole property, which excellent. We could probably stretch it out more because in the middle of that, I think we had her maybe two or three weeks before it got cold and all the grass died. But yeah, like 50 cow days, that's excellent. So one of the things that I've been meaning to do is make some sort of way to transport minerals. Uh, I've been giving her kelp and trace minerals, and she she doesn't really touch the kelp. Sometimes she will. Uh, the minerals she kind of just stays up on. But you know, it's I'm constantly going back and forth getting all that stuff and bringing it out here. It's not that big of a deal, but what we ended up doing was we bought all of the individual minerals. I know that certain areas your soil will lack certain minerals. We're just gonna give them free choice over what they can, what they want, what they're needing. So here's what I got. I got a roll of rubber, some wheels, and wow, that one's already filthy dirty. Whole bunch of trays. I'm basically going to make like a, uh, a little cart with all the minerals. The rubber will go over the cover. You'll see. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm gonna build the thing. I know what the end product needs to kind of look like and I know how it needs to function. So I have been up in the top of the barn cutting up my own wood. This, uh, this pile right here of wood has been sorted through. I've grabbed all the great pieces out of it and I've been cutting it. I have the table saw and the chop saw up in the top of the barn and I've been cutting it all into usable sizes. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go up there and start cutting more. All right. Here's my pile of wood. I've got a few more cuts I gotta make, and then I, uh, I'll start pulling what I've got out here, and I can do all the, the rest of the cuts with the circular saw. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff laid out. I'm gonna figure out how I want all of these little mineral holders. I'll just use this table, this will work. Doesn't have to be very big. Cool. That's what I got. An even number. Okay, so basically this is how I want it oriented. A couple goofy looking wheels. It's a mineral shock, kind of like a Justin Rhodes, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller. I put one of these out there with her, put some salt and some kelp in it, and she ate all the salt and then dumped the kelp on the ground. But she can get her snoot in there and she can eat, so. That'll work. So, that's the basic shape. I gotta figure out how I'm mounting those, those uh, wheels. And then I'll put some legs on it or something so it can you know, stand there. I think that'll work. And then that, that rubber, I'll roll that out and cut a piece off and 
put it over the top so it just drapes and then she can get her head in here and pick it up and all that you'll see Hopefully I have a couple bolts, weld a bolt here, weld a bolt there, and then we'll have our wheels. I actually wasn't planning on welding with this project, but uh, had to change how I was mounting those wheels, so here we are. Let's go up top. I gotta use the uh, chop saw. It's cold, it's cloudy today, but no rain. We need the rain. It hasn't rained here hardly at all in the past month. Seems like last year it was such a wet December and so far we, it's rained like once. Once in the past three weeks. It's terrible. I think it's gonna to be too small. I think it's gonna be way too small. I bet you she just tosses this thing. It's just gotta hold minerals. Maybe I'll have to like set it like in a corner where she can't like really get around it and kick it. I think it's just too small. We'll see, we'll try it out. Uh, right now I'm in it for the little trays and the rubber. Not a big deal if it doesn't work, I can just remake it and make it bigger. Uh, this is all my own lumber that I milled, so I'm not into it for the lumber. All right, I'm gonna get this rubber out and try to figure out a way to cut this because this is like quarter inch thick rubber. It's gonna be pretty heavy. I wonder if the saw would cut it. This sounds like a good way to ruin a saw blade. Let's stand on that. Wow, that thing, you can tell it's cold out here. It's getting cold. Oh man, that's short. Yeah, it is. That's super short. What's that sticker say? 60 inches. Okay, that's why. I think it will fit. It will fit. So, I, it doesn't need to be that long. Or like that wide. So, I'd have to cut some off. Now I know that it's exactly long enough. Stand it up. I'm going to roll it up. All right. Let's see if the bandsaw will cut this. I can cut it down to size. I can't believe that's working. Yeah. Yay for bandsaws. That's not a super raggedy cut either. That's a nice cut. Cool. Let's go put it on. There, finished product. Okay. All right, as we are losing our light. I think that'll work. I will put it out tomorrow, fill it up tomorrow. Uh, I've got some stuff I gotta go do before like I gotta go move chickens I move them at night uh, and then I'll get biscuit put away all that fun stuff so I will see you guys tomorrow all right it is the next day chores are done breakfast is done I'm gonna go down here haul this thing in the barn where I have the minerals stashed and uh, I'll get it filled up 
I actually need some sunlight to get that rubber sheet to kind of warm up and relax a little bit because it's still so stiff I'm afraid that the ends are gonna get water encroachment Labeling people, label your stuff better. Uh, we've got a B complex, we've got buffer, we've got calcium, copper, iodine, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, sulfur, trace minerals, uh, plus selenium, and zinc. All right, I got everything sorted out. Cool. Meg had yeah. the list, so I got it all labeled wrote on everything. I think I'm gonna get a whole bunch of buckets, put these in buckets with uh, like gamma lids and we can stash them anywhere and not worry about them yes. going bad. It's dry in here so I'm not worried about them once I open them. These are those Tyvek bag things that are pretty indestructible. Yeah. I'm gonna get this filled up and then hope that she doesn't knock it down. I'm only gonna put like a scoop per. Yeah. Minerals when you buy them like this are not cheap. They were not cheap. <laughs> so I hope she likes them. <laughs> We just waste a bunch of money. Well, this is the only thing. I'm thinking it's too light, but we'll see. She's like, what is it? What is it? Uh, what if we say it's treats? It's treats. You want treats? It's treats. Yeah, you what? know what that word is. <laughs> it's treats. She's like, treats? I like treats. Now she's going to be mad because we didn't put any treats in there. What do you think? You going to get you some? She went straight after, what is that, sulfur? Yep. What you think of that, huh? You going to get you some? Is that good? See if she can figure it out. Can you get into it? There you go. Figured it out. There you go, smart mama. There. You're so smart. Oh, is that good? Hmm, straight up the nose. Yeah. Oh, we might. Yep. Yeah, I think you might have yep. to make it a little heavier. Remake it, make it bigger. Oops. Oh, she oh. likes that ADE. Is that good stuff? No, no, no. What I could do is I could actually pull off the wheels and sit the thing flat on the ground. Oh yeah, you could do that. That'll like it's work. light enough, we can drag it around. Yeah. I could hook a rope to it and when we move this, we'll just drag it with the lawnmower. Yeah, I think that would like, work great. I think it'd be a lot more stable if it was just sitting on the ground. Yeah, probably. I could flip it over, pull all the plastic out, mm -hmm. burn it real good. Yeah. Everything I've burned with my own wood, it's, once it's burned, yeah, it holds up really good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. There you have it. A little bit of disappointment that I can't leave the wheels on it because it's really easy to move with the wheels. It is. So, that was a fun project. Now with that noise in the background. <laughs> it's making me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna do it for, for us for today. Uh, we actually are going to immediately start filming the next video because yes. I've got a big project coming up yes. that I'm very excited about. So, we, uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.